You must be everybody. Last nigga fuck with your head, probably a cheetah. This is so good. If y'all don't like this, y'all missing out. This is the best one. I don't care. Hey bitches, welcome or welcome back to another video on my channel. If you're new, my name is Tay. If you're not, then you already know who I am. So as you read by today's title, we're going to be doing a hygiene video plus like products, tips, and getting ready for a dick appointment and what I do to get ready for a dick appointment. Okay, that's very vulgar. The language, oh my God. I don't get paid yet, but like if in the future they see this don't demonetize me please i didn't say anything so first things first i'm gonna start from the head down like i don't know what y'all do but this is just how i do it this is how i get ready this is what i do basically on a daily basis just basic hygiene tips and internal hygiene tips external hygiene tips you know just tips in general products and everything that that'll help you if you don't know what to do like if this is foreign to you you don't really have anybody to talk to about it then you know this is the place to be okay okay yeah so let's get started okay 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 so the first product that i'm going to show you guys is chlorophyll now chlorophyll is something that you should take every single day it has a lot of benefits i don't really know them off the top of my head but they have a lot i know that it like um what's the word i don't want to use eliminate because that's a well, it does eliminate odor. It, el it eliminates every bad odor, like sweat, pee, poop. Like, it, I'm not gonna say your pee and poop isn't gonna smell like anything, but it'll smell a lot better than it usually would. So that's one of the, the benefits of chlorophyll, but it does have a lot of other health benefits. Um, you could research it, look it up for yourself and see if that's what you wanna do. If you wanna use it, cool. By all means, it's a good product. This is the brand that I use. Yes, I got this on Amazon. I'm not sure how much it was. I think it was between 10 to $12, like 10 to $12. I don't think it was that much. And I've had this for like a year now and it doesn't expire until next year. So this is really good. Um, you just take two tablespoons with four ounces of water. You could just take two tablespoons, put it in like a 16 ounce bottle of water. <laughs> I don't know why I just water because you should be drinking water before any d appointment or on a daily basis in general so you just put the put a little bit in your water bottle shake it up and drink it real fast i don't like to put it in that much um water i just like to put a little little bit of water mix it in and just take it like drink it really fast because it doesn't have the best taste i don't have the mint flavored one i have the unflavored one i don't want to taste no mint when i'm drinking anything so I just would rather the unflavored. The taste kind of tastes like, um, a lot of people say that it tastes like grass. I personally don't think it tastes like grass. I can't really explain what it tastes like. It's it's not nasty, but it's not really pleasant. It's just like, oh, uh, no. But yeah, so this is the first thing. It gives you fresh, you can even gargle with this, like instead of mouthwash, you could gargle with this. It eliminates bad breath, um, sweat odor, you know, vagina odor if that's you know that's something that you have to deal with i recommend this try this this is a good product to use okay okay so the next thing that i'm going to talk about and i hope that everybody knows this but not everybody does oral hygiene okay nobody wants to to be in your face or kissing you or you going down somewhere if your breath is hot okay please make sure you have fresh breath ladies and gentlemen if you're watching this make sure you have fresh breath okay a lot of people don't know this and a lot of people don't take this seriously when your doc when your dentist tells you to floss he means floss like they usually say floss after every meal no one's doing that i'm sorry but if you floss in the morning and then you floss at night you should be fine but especially before i take a appointment you need to floss i don't use the regular strand floss i use these Okay, it's a little toothpick floss, you know, you get in there, you know, I, <laughs> it's stuck. You could flip this part up, get in there if you want to, if you need to, anything that you ate that day, you know, get rid of it. Also, you know, you want to use, 
a mouthwash okay you want to use a mouthwash so this is the mouthwash that i use i've heard a lot of good things about this i actually really do like it it's not like very harsh it doesn't burn but like you actually like you feel very clean after you use it. it has like a very minty nice feel to it i like this you can get this if you want or you can continue using whatever one you want but if you want to try a different one if you want to try a new one to see if you like it i recommend this one okay awesome last but not least for the the internal care of your whole body and your vagina you know cranberry pills cranberry pills now these are for urinary tract health if you don't know what urinary tract is you never had a uti you'll never know it's very painful um it gives you frequent urination like you have to pee 24 fucking 7 it's not a fun time it's not it doesn't feel good and it's annoying like who wants to keep getting up to pee every five minutes and then like a tiny pinch of pee is coming out like that's really annoying and i have a small bladder anyways so with the uti like come on right now please so yeah that helps against that and also if you are ha having sex please pee before pee right before sex i don't care if y'all making out and he tonguing you down and he like babe you know, I'm about to go down there and be like, hold on, I gotta pee. I don't care, you know, take a little bit of water and some soap, you know, wash up a little bit after you pee and then y'all can get back to business, but make sure you pee before and make sure you pee directly after. Don't sit and wait. I don't care if you don't have to pee. Make yourself pee because there's a lot of bacteria, no matter what. My boyfriend is clean. I'm clean. Your boyfriend could be clean all he wants, but matter of the fact is if you're using spit or condoms or anything like, anything that's not natural to the you know vagina vaginas are very sensitive anybody like any genital area is very sensitive so handle it with care please pee before and after sex that's all i wanted to say i have the azo ones and sex is just a nasty act in general like it, it is like people don't like to admit it as much as they think they're clean like sex is just nasty you know, you can catch a yeast infection or a urinary tract infection from anything sexual. Like, it does not matter if you're a clean person. You can, it happens. It literally happens. Like, your vagina is very sensitive. Take care of her. So now we're going to move on to the body portion, okay? Okay. <laughs> I keep saying okay. Because I want to make sure you guys get it. Like, please, please take my advice. I know what I'm talking about. Okay. See, I said it again. I'm going to stop saying that. All right. So the first thing that we're gonna talk about is we're gonna talk about shaving first. I had to think about that for a minute because I didn't know if I wanna start it with the body wash first, but no, we're gonna talk about exfoliating and shaving. So exfoliating is really good to do before you shave because it kind of like loosens the hair follicles and you know, kind of gets that dead skin up. So you could just, you know, have a closer shave, a cleaner shave, not, not miss any bumps or, I mean, not bumps, not miss any hairs or create any razor bumps or any of that so and it also helps prevent strawberry legs so you know do you could also exfoliate after if that's what you want to do but i like to exfoliate my whole body before i just think it helps it looks better it feels better i don't know that's just what i do the exfoliant that i use is this one i do not use sugar scrubs unless it's just for my body like my top half legs cool but i do not use a sugar scrub on my vagina do not use a sugar scrub on your vagina please it's not good okay it's not good if you have a vagina of steel and your vagina can take whatever you throw at it that's cool but mine is not the same i have a very sensitive vagina so i have to be very mindful and very careful with, of the products that i put you know down there and I have to make sure she likes them because she will scream and holler if I do something that she don't like. And we have a good understanding now because, you know, she done whooped my ass a couple times. But anyways, yeah. So this, <laughs> this is the exfoliator that I use. It's a sea salt and lemon scrub. So this is for good for brightening. I use it under my arms. I use it on my legs. I use it on my vagina. I use it everywhere. This is really good. It smells like lemons. It's nothing too crazy. And it's sea salt, so it's not, it doesn't have any sugar in it, nothing. Like, it's really good. It's really good. I like this. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, did I get on my face a little bit? She kissed me back. Now we're going to move on to the razor. This is the razor that I use. Um, What the hell was that? Was that soap? 
I think it's soap. I just took this out the shower. Sorry. This is a Bic. Is it the right way? I don't know. It's a Bic razor. Um, I only use men's razors for my whole body. I've always used men's razors. I rarely use women razors. I don't like them. I just feel like they're not as sharp. They're not as great. Like they really don't have too many um blades. I like five to seven blades. Anything less, get out my face. This is one, two. Yeah, this is a five blade razor. And I have the, this is reusable. Like not reusable, but this is detachable. So you could just press the button, take it off, and the box comes with, I think, three, three heads. And you could just pop this off, throw it away, take another one, and pop it back on. Now you got a new razor, so you never throw these away. You could just get the refills and, you know, just switch it out as you please. So that's really good. I love those. That one is very sharp. If you get it, please be careful. I'll probably link it down below. I'll probably link all of these products down below. If I can find most of them, they should be on Amazon, but I'll probably link them down below if you guys wanna know where I got those from. Now, shaving cream. Shaving cream is very essential for shaving any body part. Um, if you wanna use soap to shave, I don't know. I don't, I don't really recommend that because think about it. If you get like a razor, um, like a cut from your razor or something and you start bleeding and the soap is there, that's, that's gonna burn. So we don't do that. I don't do that. So I use the EOS uh, shaving cream. I've tried men's shaving creams. I've tried women's shaving creams. I've tried a lot of shaving creams. This is the only one that I like. I just got this one. This is the Shea, mm, Shea Better. It's Shea Better, not Butter, Better. Uh, shaving cream, 24 hour moisture in the scent, pomegranate raspberry. I had the vanilla one last time. I love the vanilla one, it smells so good. But this one, Oh my god, this one smells so good. It smells so good. Like, I don't think I would... I would go back to the vanilla one because I like it, but if they have this one available, I'm gonna get this one. So, yes. This is the one that I got. Screenshot, screenshot, screenshot. I love this one. Get that. If you see it at Target... Oh, I got that at Target. If you see it at Target, go get that. Moving on to the body soap. So, <sighs> I'm pretty sure you guys have heard about this soap. A lot of people use this soap. I've been using this soap since I was like 13, maybe younger, my whole family. We use this soap. This soap is, it's a tad bit expensive though, but a little bit really does go a long way. Like I'm right here. I think I got this like two weeks ago. So, but I use a lot cause I use it like all over my whole body. And yes, I use it on her i do i do she likes it i don't know but so before a d appointment you want to you want to make sure that you're squeaky clean you know every area every crevice every you know especially if you're going to be doing a lot of things just make sure that you're clean this will get you clean i don't really care for like dove soap to use like on my private areas or like you know my my backside because I just feel like it leaves like a residue. Like it's very, I don't know. I don't like the consistency or like the feel that it leaves on my body. I just feel like very slippery after. I don't like it. So this will leave you feeling squeaky clean. Yes, yes. Just don't use this on like the inside of your vagina. Like don't use it too close to like, you know, your hole and whatnot because it, it does have a very cooling feeling a very cooling sensation it might burn a little bit if you put it a little too far you know in, in between you know don't do that be careful if you use this please i also wash my face with this so yeah yeah get this get this on top of that i use a body wash and i use a bar soap so after i finish with that i probably go like two times with this and then I go in with this bar soap after. Now, y'all just told I just told y'all that I don't really care for Dove like that because of the you know feeling that it gives my body after. This particular one, I haven't really had a problem with. I don't use this on my vagina, by the way. This is only for my body. I only use this on my body. This does not touch down there whatsoever. Not at all. Body only. Do not use any type of scented and like this is also like a natural kind of soap it has it the only scent that it has is peppermint peppermint soap okay it's peppermint use this <laughs> i'm just gonna use it 
but yeah this is what i use for my body i more so use this to kind of bring the moisture back into my body after this because this does kind of leave your body feeling like a little bit not dry but it's just it makes you feel squeaky like squeaky clean so i like to use this to bring the moisture back into my body as well as the smell like i use it more so for scent because it oh, this smells so good i love this scent so I'm going with this over my body you know all over all over yeah <laughs> okay so now the topic that we've all been waiting for the vagina <laughs> even though we spoke about her this whole entire time so what i use the soap that i use specifically for her nothing else i buy a 15 dollar soap just for her because she's bougie okay this i use oh okay oh stop i use this v magic soap um i got it from mama's apothecary.com i'll link it to none of this is sponsored by the way i'm just telling you you know what i use um yeah i'll link it down below but this is like 15 or 16 dollars and i've had like five of these this is like my fifth or sixth one i think this is my sixth one actually i've had a lot and i really do like this soap it has absolutely no scent like it smells like nothing it has like a slight like well i don't even know what it, i don't even know what it, it does smell a little bit like it has okay i'm gonna read the ingredients for you guys it has, I don't know what DI water is, glycerin, uh, plant-based collagen, sage leaf extract, chamomile, all that, yeah, flower, something flower extract. I don't know. You guys can, can read the ingredients list right here. Screenshot, screenshot. But yeah, it has, it's pH balanced with collagen and vitamin E, so it's, it's very good for down there. It's very moisturizing, you know, it just makes it feel... And it doesn't leave like a, a residue or like a nasty type of slippery feeling. You, you just feel very clean. It doesn't suds up also. Like it suds up at the slightest bit, like just a little bit. It doesn't suds up, which I also like because I don't feel like it's stripping my vagina of like, you know, it's natural oils and whatnot. This is a good investment. I promise you'll like it. If you don't, you can curse me out. But yes, especially before a D appointment, this is very good very good it'll leave you smelling good feeling good looking good all that after you shave or even if you don't shave at all and you know you've got a little bit of hair and you want to just moisturize down there instead of using coconut oil i use this if i'm just feeling like a little bit not dry like you know not dry <laughs> but like my skin down there feels dry or like on my butt or anything i use this i go in with this this is also by v magic um it has Organic extra virgin olive oil, uh, organic extra virgin avocado oil, organic seed buckhorn oil, beeswax, organic beeswax, organic honey, and yeah. This is what it looks like. I've used it. This is what it looks like. It's a nice consistency. It's not too oily, but it's not too thick either. So like, it does give you a very nice moisture. You can put it anywhere. Like, you don't have to just put it down there, but you can put it anywhere. It's organic and it has a lot of good ingredients in there. Yeah. Lastly, for down there, this PFB Vanish Stick. Okay, I know you got a lot of people have heard about this. A lot of people have talked about this, but I'm here to tell you. I'm here to tell you that this has done wonders for me. If you wax, shave anything and you get ingrowns or if you get if you have dark spots down there, use this like every day or every other day. If you have like very sensitive skin every other day. It makes your skin feel so make sure that you're exfoliating because it you can get another ingrown hair from not exfoliating because there will be like dead skin trapping the hair so you have to scrub that off and i'm telling you, your skin you will look like you have something because like your skin will be peeling off and you won't know what the hell is going on so get this it takes the dead skin off brightens your skin it's, it helps with razor bumps ingrown hairs everything because who wants to go to a d appointment with an ingrown hair that's gonna have to get canceled. Nobody wants to do that. Nobody wants to see that. Nobody wants to touch that. They hurt. Like, why would you want somebody to touch it if it hurts? Like, mm. 
no and this is for men and women everybody can use this you can use this on your face i think this is meant for your, well it's meant for everything honestly Where, whatever you shave you can put this on this is very good so now we're gonna get to the fun part this is the smelling good like now that we're out the shower we're smelling good you know we jam into our music we getting hyped for the d appointment we you know we ready we ready he about to call the uber you know in like 15 20 minutes this is the part we've been waiting for this is my favorite part personally i like the the after so you always want a good lotion after you get out the shower whether it's the body oil or a good lotion or a, a cream or something you want to you want to put a little something so you could be smooth and sexy and smelling good for your man this is the, this is the lotion that i use i use the dove body love this is the restoring care one they have multiple different kinds that do different things i guess but this is the restoring care one i like this one it smells really good um it's not too thick so it's not like it doesn't leave your body feeling like oily and whatnot it's not too thick it's actually a really good consistency i like this i mean i have other lotions but i was just going to show this one because this is the one that i've been using recently but yes just just a tip you know make sure you lotion your body lotion everywhere because back there if y'all doing certain positions and it's dry and it's you know ashy you know but <laughs> You gonna be embarrassed and nobody like please no don't don't do that even though he probably asked you you want to make sure that you looking good because he don't he can't say nothing about you he can't say nothing about you but you can say something about him all right so after that i take this oil it's the heavenly oil by victoria's secret satin body oil i got this from victoria's secret um it's been like three years honestly it's probably expired but this smells so good if you could find this buy it it smells so good it's a body oil so you just spray it on, rub it, and it's it's like a subtle, but it's, it smells so good. He gonna be right here, just sniffing you, because you're gonna smell so good. You're gonna smell delicious. He not gonna be able to know what to do with it. He not gonna be able to know how to handle it. He gonna be like, oh my God, just come here, I want you right now. And you gonna be like, no, get off me, stop. And yeah, <laughs> but who wouldn't want that? I would. Anyways, moving on. Now we're gonna move on to the perfumes, okay? Perfumes. So I'm a person that likes to, I like very sweet smells. I like vanilla-y smells. I like flower, like floral kind of sweet smells. You know, like I just, I like to smell good wherever I go, no matter what I'm doing, but especially if I'm going to a nigga house, okay? I'm gonna smell good. So this is one of my favorite 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 of all time perfumes it's this clean is it backwards this is warm cotton the scent is warm cotton by clean reserve um i got it from sephora this was this little one was 30 dollars. i'm not sure how much the full size one is probably like 80 to 90 dollars. that's why i got this one and this one lasted me like five months and i used it every single day you just literally need like two spritz and you're good it smells like i keep looking at myself i'm looking right here this is myself and then this is the you know whatever this one smells like it smells like laundry but like in a perfume scent so it just smells very clean and cozy and like it smells like laundry like ugh, I, 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 I can't explain it it just smells very good it just smells clean fresh and you know just I don't know like i don't know guys like it just smells so good oh i don't even have it oh this smells so good i've gotten a lot of compliments on this like i've gotten a lot of compliments on this this smells really good if you don't if you don't want to smell like you're trying too hard like you just like you know doused yourself in a bunch of perfume get this and use this they're gonna be like oh my god did you just do laundry you smell so good you're gonna be like yeah i did mm-hmm because you already have like the the soap and the body scrub and the lotion and the oil that's already gonna smell good so if you just want to go for like a clean fresh scent get this get that i'm telling you get this i'm gonna just keep saying it get it get it get it get it get it another favorite of mine is the daisy love by mark jacobs i got this one also lasted me i got this one i think i got this in september it's now february and i'm right here i used this like every single day and it's been like a couple months and i'm only 
finished right here. I mean, I'm almost finished, but you know, I'm right here. I still have a little bit left. So that's really good. It's like a, a very girly, floral, sweet type of scent. It smells really good. So I recommend that. Now, if you're not going anywhere and you're staying home, spray a little bit on your bed. Just spray a little bit on your bed because you know you always want your space to smell good if somebody is coming over to your home you want to make sure it's clean comfortable it's smelling good you know set the vibe set the tone light some candles that's all that's all all right now i know the girls was trying to act all bougie and trying to discriminate <laughs> against you know bath and body works i don't really like that because listen we all Grew up on Bath and Body Works. Please stop pocket watching people. Don't try to call nobody broke or I don't even know. Like, don't try to talk down on nobody for using Bath and Body Works because don't forget where you come from, Miss Ma'am. Just because you got a little bit of coin now and you want to go to Sephora and go buy the expensive perfume. Nobody has to do that just because you want to feel like you're, you have a one up on somebody. Like, please cut it the fuck out. If you've ever said that, you're lame. Cut it out. I love a good Bath & Body Works perfume, don't play with me because I have a lot, I have a lot and I love every single one of them and I use them every single day so I don't care. And I still smell good, probably smell better than you. So I'm just going to show you guys a few of my favorite fragrances from there. The first one is, what is it? Dahlia, Dahlia, Dahlia from Bath & Body Works. This one is so, like it has a vanilla, like it smells very much so like vanilla the fragrance notes in it is velvet delia petals uh crisp pear praline musk and whipped tonka bean i don't know what any of that is but it just smells like vanilla and love i don't know how to <laughs> it just smells beautiful like please try it out if 15 dollars won't hurt your, hurt your pockets like please just buy this try it out i guarantee you will love it it smells so good Another one of my favorites that I've bought over and over and over and over and over again, I, I will probably continue to buy it over and over and over and over again, is Beautiful Day. Beautiful Day, if you haven't used Beautiful Day, if you haven't heard about it, smelled it, seen it, go get it. Whether in store or online, this... I used to get compliments on this one all the time. When I worked at Home Depot, the customers would come in and tell me that I smell delicious. It was very weird because it was always old men, but they were like, you smell delicious. You smell beautiful. You smell so good. What is that? And I would always tell them, it's a beautiful day. This is a beautiful day. You should go get it. It's really good. This one is Almond Blossom. It, it very much so gives vanilla with like, I can't explain it, man. I don't know. It doesn't even have like a fragrance. It has nothing on the back literally nothing i can't explain it it just it smells so good i don't know i don't know guys i can't explain it this is magnolia charm this this is like a light and airy these ones are kind of like a heavy vanilla mixed with like a i don't know this one is like a light airy fluffy type of sweet floral scent oh let me just yeah um the note the fragrance notes in this one is dewy pear blossom blooming magnolia and fresh cedar i feel like that's a good description this get this it smells okay i just want to throw this in there real quick just because we're on the topic of bath and body works they have really good room sprays. If you, you know, want your room to smell really good before he comes over or if you just chilling at home, whatever, whatever. I have this one. I have a lot of them, but in particular, this is the one that I'm using right now. It's almost out, but I have the champagne, honey, and apple. This one smells so good. It doesn't smell like apples at all. It doesn't smell like honey, but it, listen. yeah oh okay maybe it does smell a little bit like apples but not like cinnamon apple i hate cinnamon apple scented it just stinks i don't like that but yeah it just smells really good i don't know what to say i don't know what else to say that's pretty much it honestly 
just wanted to come and talk to you girls about a couple of things you know show you guys a couple of different products that have helped me a lot in like my everyday life not even just the d appointment maybe i'll do a separate video on you know get actually getting ready for one but i don't really leave my house he usually comes over i don't know i really don't get ready for the appointment because this is what i do on a daily basis like anyways i do it regardless so it's not really what i do it's, it's just what i do in general not really specifically for the appointment but am i gonna do it right before the day appointment yeah but do i do it almost every day yes i hope this video helped you guys i hope now you'll be more confident and you'll take my advice and go get the external hygiene care and external hygiene cares i hope you guys like some of the products that i've shown you i hope you i hope you guys i can't speak i hope you guys go out and get things i'm like i said i'm probably most likely gonna drop most of the stuff down below if i can find it if i can't then it won't be in the description i'll just drop the names of it and you guys can try to find it if you want let me know down below if you guys liked it i feel like i feel like you guys should like it i liked it but yeah don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video me no stress, so I know where it's at. Only when you're trying to see ya.